everybody? Will here with WTF Car Reviews, and today we're gonna be reviewing this all-new 2022 Toyota Tacoma SR5 V6. And before we start, I want to give a huge thank you to Johan and the rest of the management and staff here at Stadium Toyota in Tampa, Florida for making this review possible. Uh, these guys have a really impressive dealership. I'll leave a link to their inventory below, and they're located right next to the Buck Stadium. So if you're in the Tampa area looking for a new car or truck, I would definitely suggest checking these guys out and ask for Johan. So ever since 1995, the Tacoma has been an absolute king in the compact truck segment, uh, taking over the Toyota Hilux platform, as we mentioned in the previous video um, on the TRD Sport Tacoma. Uh, the Hilux has become recently famous thanks to one of my favorite automotive content creators. Uh, but here for 2022, we're going to have the SR5 Tacoma and this one's going to have the V6 engine. So what are we going to get here different from the TRD Sport? Uh, let's jump right in. So starting with the headlights, uh, they're going to be pretty similar overall. Only difference is, as you can see, we're not going to have a daytime running strip like we had on the TRD Sport. But we're still going to have our projector beam for the headlight. We're going to have our high beams over here and our turn signals right next to it. Uh, quite a bit of chrome over here on this headlight housing. But as you can see right up top over here, I do like that little glass aluminum-ish pattern. It does make it look like it's a little bit more premium but beneath we are going to have a halogen fog light that's nice to have for bad weather conditions not a lot of vehicles offer fog lights anymore but it's still nice to see it on this 22 tacoma but this grill is going to be completely different from the trd pro uh, that, or the trd sport we reviewed the trd sport had like a hexagonal design whereas this is going to be more of a flat black uh, with a little bit less opening overall but we're still going to have plenty of opening as you see pretty far away we're going to have our radiator for this 3.5 liter v6 and a pretty massive toyota badge right here in the middle surrounding your grill we're going to have a nice chrome strip on the outside uh, this little bumper area is going to protrude a little bit it's going to keep your front end nice and protected and right up front we're going to have a tow hook which can get you out of some sticky situations off-road but continuing along we can check out this wheel and tire setup and it is going to be a little bit different from the trd sport uh, we are going to have some really nice 16 inch rims still i do like the pattern i like the gunmetal gray design and it's still going to be a six piece lug pattern over here but as far as these tires that's going to be where we're going to see a little bit of a difference so these are going to be toyo open country a31 tires as far as dimensions these are going to be 245 so they're going to be a little bit skinnier than the trd pro but they're going to be 75 so they're going to be significantly thicker so we'll see how it affects the ride quality this thing is probably going to have even more impressive ride quality than the trd sport that we reviewed and ride quality was definitely one of the more impressive parts of that truck so we'll see if there's an upgrade here uh, but again these are going to be 16 inch rims not 17s uh, but you can see we're going to have an unbelievable amount of wheel gap you could definitely fit some much much beefier tires on this truck and as far as ground clearance really impressive almost 10 inches of ground clearance on this truck uh, we're gonna have the tacoma nameplate right out here i like how it's going to be a uh, pretty stiff aluminum material and it's not going to be as shiny chrome as a lot of other nameplates but as far as the mirror it's gonna be a really large piece of glass you got your blind spot monitoring right here we're gonna have the heated function on the inside as far as this window trim it's not gonna be chrome at all everything's gonna be blacked out b pillar is gonna be blacked out with some really nice tints out here in the rear uh, but we're not gonna have any smart access over here for the, just the, the base sr5 trim uh, we did have smart access for the driver and the front passenger on the trd sport but we're just gonna have the old school key fob with the lock and unlock on the fob but continuing back here, of course, no smart access in the rear either. Uh, this gas tank, you just pull it open right here. It's not gonna be easy filled, but you simply unscrew it and fill up this truck with gas. But back here, same uh, wheel and tire setup, except one thing I do not like about these new Tacomas or 2022 Tacomas, it's gonna be updated for 2023, are these drum brakes. Um, it would've been nice to get disc brakes. All the trucks in the segment are offering it. So the fact that Toyota's still using the drum brakes, that's gotta be my only minus so far with this truck. But if I didn't mention yet, we are gonna have a body color over here for the outside of the wheel well for the rear and in the front. Definitely nice. Um, it's not gonna protect you from rock chips quite as much as other vehicles that have plastic cladding, but it definitely gives this vehicle a much, much sleeker appearance. As far as the suspension setup, you can take a look at your shock absorber right back over here with your leaf springs running all across your rear end. And um, we can take a look at the differential right back here for this two wheel drive Tacoma SR5 and the SR5 nameplates right back over here but anyway we can take a look at the taillights these are going to be leds with the reverse light right beneath i like these grips over here so you can take a step into your bed without having to necessarily pop your tailgate but speaking of tailgate you're gonna have a nice toyota little nameplate right here next to your rear view camera uh the trailer hitch right back here i'll leave a text box right down here to show you guys how much this vehicle is rated to tow but we got our wiring harnesses right back over there as well as a couple of lights that'll keep your bed area nice and well lit and the v6 badge 
right over here. But to step into this tailgate, you simply pull the latch. It's gonna be damped, very soft, damped uh, tailgate. We're gonna have four sets of tie downs in all four corners of this truck. And of course, spray and bed liner. Everything's super nice back here. Um, over here, we're not gonna have any um, AC adapter, unfortunately, but we are gonna have a little bit of secret storage right back over here. And to shut it back up, you simply close it right back here. But let's take a step. We'll see how sturdy this tailgate is. Super sturdy. I get back here with literally no issues whatsoever. And to take a step right back out, we'll just pop right out. But we'll close this thing up, but we'll take another step back so you guys can take a look at the rear styling on this 2022 Tacoma SR5. But let's start this truck up and hear how this 3.5 liter V6 sounds. All right, guys, that was, of course, the sound of the 3.5 liter V6 sold by Toyota for this 2022 Toyota Tacoma SR5. So we'll pop this hood up and it's gonna be really heavy. We're not gonna get struts, unfortunately. I'll try to show you guys uh, the process with the prop rod, but it's gonna be really tough without letting go of this camera, but I'll do my best. And now that we got it set up, we can take a look at the engine setup. Of course, this engine is going to make 278 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. Enough to get this truck to 60 in around seven and a half seconds. So very capable acceleration. We'll check that out once we take this truck out for a drive. For a left-hand drive truck, not the best spot for a battery when it comes to weight balance, especially since it appears that this engine is kind of pushed a little bit to the right, but not a big deal. We'll check out the balance once we take this truck out for a drive. But this is one of the heaviest hoods that I've like dealt with since starting the car reviews. So it would be really nice if Toyota gave us some hydraulic struts for 2023. But you guys can check out the front styling on this 2022 Tacoma SR5 one last time. And let's take a step over here and check out the interior on this all new truck. So taking a step in here, we'll see that over here for the door panel, I personally prefer this material a lot over the material that we got in the TRD Sport. Uh, this is much softer. It feels like a nice like marine grade vinyl material, uh, possibly just a faux leather material, but it does feel very high quality and it's definitely a better place to rest your arm compared to this little armrest area that we had in the TRD Sport, just something to consider. Uh, the rest of the door panel, of course, is gonna be hard plastic. Even the door handle is gonna be plastic material. Uh, we're gonna have the Auto One Touch for the driver. Uh, no Auto One Touch for the other passengers. The TRD Sport we reviewed had Auto One Touch for both front passengers, as well as smart access and a proximity key. This vehicle is just gonna have the old school turnkey. We'll check that out once we continue this interior review. Uh, down here, same thing. We're gonna have two cup holders, just like the TRD Sport, a little bit of extra storage and your speaker right over here. But as far as the entrance area over here, no uh, Tacoma nameplate, but we are gonna have Tacoma on these uh, floor mats. As far as the seats, they're gonna be the same thing, basically the same thing, uh, full adjustability, lumbar controls. It's just, these are gonna be a different color. So we're gonna have pretty solid bolstering extensions over here. They're gonna be pretty soft. So the seats themselves are gonna be very, very comfortable. Uh, the inlays over here, super soft, very nice cloth seat. We'll take a step inside and really check out this interior. So the first thing I notice is the steering wheel. We'll turn this air down by one so you can hear a little bit better. But as far as the steering wheel, it's gonna be really thick. Um, very nice 10 and two bolstering notches. So the 10 and two position is very nice in this wheel. Nine and three, basically perfect. Uh, great little thumb slot right here if you can pick it up and it caves in very well for your fingers. If you wanna drive with your arm on this armrest, you can easily position your hand right here in this little pocket. If you wanna be reckless with your arm on your lap while you drive, you can simply use this little spoke right here. Same thing for this armrest on the console and the spoke right next to it. But as far as the steering wheel controls, the wheel itself is going to be basically the same as the TRD Sport. Uh, you can mute the audio, you can have your phone controls, you have your radio controls where you make the volume louder. You can skip right here with your voice commands. You can adjust this little front LCD display right here. You have forward collision avoidance alert, you have lane departure warning. Uh, behind it, you got your automatic headlights, that's nice. No rain sensing wipers, not really expected on a truck that starts below 33,000 bucks. Um, as far as the gauges, we are gonna have a 6,000 RPM tack. A little LCD display in the middle, which is nice. We're gonna have a 140 mile an hour speedometer too. Uh, you can see the um, temperature outside on this uh, gauge display, little LCD in the middle. You can see a digital speedo and you see how much gas you have left in your truck. So also you have your uh, forward collision avoidance. You see your advanced safety features at all time. Uh, you can see your messages once we connect the phone. You can see your uh, PCS, LDA, lane departure alert, 
and your parking, ass parking assist, and you can adjust them in the settings over here. But I'll leave it in this digital speedometer. It's probably my favorite to look at at all times. Uh, continuing up top, we're gonna have a all hard plastic dashboard. However, it's gonna be a nice grainy material, so it's gonna feel almost rubberized. So it should be pretty durable long-term, and it should still feel more than high quality enough. Uh, as far as this area surrounding your air vents, um, you're gonna have a nice little uh, metallic aluminum-ish trim, but it's just gonna be a plastic. But I do like how it sparkles a little bit with the metallic. Uh, the air vents are right here. I like how they can be positioned, very flexibly positioned air vents. Um, but as far as this um, infotainment setup over here, we can check it out. We're, gonna, we're currently in the home settings. You have the audio right here. You can see what song's playing. Um, if you have the phone connected, you can see that right here. And you can see your lifetime fuel efficiency, which isn't very good right now, but once this vehicle is purchased, I'm sure it'll go up. So as far as the menu, you can see the audio, phone, apps, projection, info, and setup. So as far as projection, uh, you can basically mirror your phone onto the screen. Uh, as far as the apps, uh, we are gonna, we're not going to have any apps currently downloaded, but of course this truck's going to have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you want to use Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you can press this map button, even though the navigation app is not installed. If you're using Apple CarPlay, um, you can just simply press the map button and your map will be mirrored onto the screen. Um, over here, you can skip the song. You have your phone settings if the phone was connected and your overall apps right over here. But as far as the volume control, super nicely weighted. Uh, the tune control is going to be different. It's going to be more of a clicky thing. So it's going to be clicky for the tune. It's going to be weighted for the volume. So they are going to be different. Uh, beneath that, you have your hazards and you're going to have automatic climate control. That's also pretty impressive with this truck. Heated mirrors right over here. Uh, blind spot monitoring, you can disable your ECT power. I'll label that right here, what that stands for. And your rear push window. So over here, you push and it opens up. You pull that little thing back and it closes right back up. Right next to it, you have a USB port. That's nice to have. And a 12 volt we can plug a radar detector in right beneath. But we're not going to have a wireless charging pad like we had with the TRD Sport. But behind that, we're going to have cup holders. They should keep your stuff in place. They're not rubberized, but this little piece in the middle should accommodate uh, any size cup basically within reason. But over here, we're going to have our six speed automatic transmission gear selector. Uh, we can pop it into reverse and take a look at the backup camera, which uh, not the best resolution, same with the TRD Sport. Uh, no trajectory, but we're still going to have guidance markers. So that's pretty nice. Uh, no paddle shifters, of course. Uh, we are going to have the cruise control settings right here on this little stock on the steering wheel. But no paddle shifters. If you want to use manual, manual uh, shift modes, you pop it into the sport. Uh, downshift right here and upshift right over here. But we'll put it back into park. Uh, behind it over here, we have a true e-brake. That's pretty nice with an off-road capable truck. Um, over here, we got an additional cup holder and some storage where you could throw some coins. But as far as the center console, we could take a look at it right over here. It's going to be pretty massive. I'd say you could probably fit probably three or four uh, 16 ounce cans like squarely so you could probably fit 16 16 ounce cans very solid center console with very solid depth and i don't know if you could pick it up but we are going to get an additional usb and usb c port right down over there we can shut this thing up we can pull this latch right here for the glove box before we do that you do have a nice tacoma nameplate on it if i can show you but pull this latch it's going to be damped and it's going to be a massive massive glove box um you could probably fit at least like stack them on top of each other probably 30 plus license plates one of the largest glove boxes in the business but coming up top we are going to have an auto dimming mirror we can press the button right here to turn off the auto function uh, nice compass right next to it we're going to have sunglass holders right up here uh, sos and you have your interior light controls right up top but over here as far as the um, door lights you can turn them off and on you have your auto lights over here uh, we are going to have traction control. We can disable that right over here as well. But that's about it for the front seat, guys. Uh, pretty impressive overall. We'll check out this window sticker real quick before we hop out into the back. So like we mentioned, we're going to have the 3.5 liter V6, Atkinson cycle with dual variable valve timing, six-speed auto, auto limited slip, receiving uh, towing receiver hitch, engine oil cooler, Taylor Sway control. Uh, full Toyota safety sense, pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, uh, dynamic radar cruise, lane departure alert, auto high beam, start safety system. Outside, we're going to have the 16-inch alloy wheels with 75 series sidewall. Um, inside, we're going to have the fabric trim seats with the power driver's seat, 8-inch touchscreen, uh, three-month trial for the Sirius, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, dual zone automatic climate control with rear vents, and of course, full tank of gas. Um, so base price sitting around $33,000. bucks. you are going to pay around five seventy. dollars for the technology package, which includes the blind spot monitoring with the rear cross traffic alert. And it also requires a colored keyed rear bumper, but that's only 570 bucks after a almost $1,200 destination charge. We're still gonna be sitting under 35,000 bucks before any additional dealer add-ons. But that's about it for the window sticker. We'll put it right back over here. And let's take a step out and check out the back seat. 
on this 2022 Tacoma SR5. And similar to the uh, TRD Sport, we're not gonna have the most legroom. We'll check that out in one second. But as far as this door panel, super high quality marine vinyl, really, really nice feeling, very nice place to rest your arm. I do prefer this over the material on the TRD Sport. But the rest of the door panel is just gonna be hard plastic. Uh, window control right here, plastic little uh, door handle. Not a big deal, it's all about durability. The area where you're gonna be resting your arm is gonna be a very nice place to rest it. But two cup holders right down here with an additional little storage area where you could probably fit a sandwich. But as far as these seats, we'll fix this headrest right over here. Uh, very nice seats, not the most bolstering, it's basically just like a flat bench, but the seats themselves, very soft, very nice place to sit. These seats also pop up, you pull this back right over here and you can see, well, we will fix these little seat belt things right over here so we still have access to seat belts but over here we are going to have a little bit of secret storage you pull that open and we can have a nice little area where you can fit quite a bit of stuff i'd say you could probably fit a case of cans in here with no issues and you are going to have additional space over here behind these two seats as well but we can shut this thing up close it over here put this thing back and take a step in here and check out the leg room on this 2022 Tacoma. And I'm six feet tall sitting behind my seat settings and I'm not gonna really have much room for my knees. I'm not gonna have much room for my feet either. But if the driver decides to sacrifice a couple inches of leg room, um, I should have more than enough space considering I have at least like three or four inches of headroom back here. As far as the vents, they're gonna be on the floor so you're not gonna be able to have any vents directly blowing into your face. But it's nice that we get two additional cup holders back here. It's gonna say uh, calf bottles only. I guess that's to avoid liability. But anyway, we're not gonna have a map pocket behind the driving seat. We're gonna have a map pocket behind the passenger. Uh, as far as this little area over here, uh, we're not gonna have any center cubby, but those seats completely fall down. And this little mirror back here, or windshield, does slide open. But that's about it. For the back seat, we got our lights right up here. Let's take this 2022 Tacoma SR5 out for a drive. All right, guys, now that we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of this all new 2022 Toyota Tacoma SR5 with the V6. Let's take it out for a drive. And the first thing I notice is uh, just like the Frontier, just like the Tacoma TRD Sport, the steering is gonna be pretty heavy. Uh, not as heavy as the Frontier. The Frontier does have heavier steering, but it's still super direct. Uh, these Toyota trucks and the Frontier truck had very, very direct steering. Uh, I think this one might be slightly more on center, uh, but it does have pretty long steering. The steering here is longer than what we had in the Frontier. Uh, to make a complete U-turn, you're gonna have to turn the wheel at least two full locks. But those are just my first impressions. Obviously not a very big deal overall. Uh, stepping out into this road, just cruising around 25, 30 miles an hour, super smooth. You don't really feel the bumps at all. Uh, that was definitely a compliment I had to the TRD Sport. And since this vehicle does have slightly fatter sidewall on the tires, it should have a better ride quality. But taking a step right here, we got some open road. Ooh, really strong acceleration. Like these, this, these V6 Tacomas, they have to be underrated when it comes to horsepower because um, I don't recall the Frontier with its 300 plus horsepower V6 having quite that torque shove that this truck has. Uh, both trucks weigh about the same. This is a pretty light truck with its two wheel drive on just the SR5 package, but still really impressive. We got a red light over here, so it gives us a good opportunity to check out how this vehicle accelerates off the line. So I'll catch back with you guys once this light turns red. But all right, on the gas, whew, really good torque shove. And once we cross 3000 RPM, really strong acceleration. We don't have to push much farther than that. Uh, just cruising out on this road at about like 40, 45 miles an hour. Unbelievably quiet. I don't know if you guys can pick it up to the camera. I'll try to quiet down for one second. Basically zero, zero wind noise. Really impressive cabin. And we're not gonna have dual pane windows. I'll do the double check right now. Uh, yeah, just single pane windows and it's still right here. We're gonna hit a bump right now. It's like it's not even there. Unbelievable composure with these 75 series sidewall tires. Um, we'll check out the cornering, see how it handles with these pretty fat tires. It probably will compromise the body roll a little bit, but just throwing right here, yeah, I definitely feel the suspension swaying a little bit, but we'll step onto this road over here. We'll have a couple twists and turns and should give us a good opportunity to see how the overall composure is. But all right, guys, taking a step out into this two lane road over here, uh, really good torque, barely on the gas, about a third of the way, go to about 2,800 RPM. We get to 45 miles an hour basically instantly and throwing through a turn right here, it stays pretty composed, but you definitely feel that there's gonna be some serious body roll the more you turn into the wheel. Like as we turn into the wheel, you definitely feel a solid little bit of a dip. But just cruising out on this road around 50 miles an hour now, 
We have essentially zero road noise, basically zero wind noise too. But all right, throwing it in right here, we'll throw it in a little bit faster than we should. And yeah, you can definitely feel there is a little bit of body roll, but it's super composed. You're definitely not feeling that this truck is like on the verge of like flipping over or anything like that. Right here, crazy bumps. Wow, it handles the bumps even better than the TRD Sport. Wow, these 65 series, 75 series sidewall tires are unbelievable. Wow, I wish you guys can see the bumps that this truck just went over. Um, on the way back, I'll throw in the POV hat so you guys have a little bit better of a sense, but I'm telling you, it is definitely, definitely impressive of a truck. Uh, but stepping out over here, uh, we'll check out the acceleration one more time. Boom, on the gas. Ooh, the torque is definitely there. And once you cross like 3,500 RPM, uh, the power really, really becomes impressive. Of course, it's not gonna blow you away in terms of power. That's not what this truck's about, but just know that there's still, still very, very good amount of it. It definitely won't. It's not gonna be something that you're gonna be wishing you had more of. And as you see the turning radius, we'll try to throw it in a couple of times. Uh, there is a pretty decent amount of body roll, but the turning radius on this truck, it's definitely more impressive on what we had in the front here. But right back here on the gas, whew, this thing is really impressive, but uh, we'll slow down over here. I'll throw on the POV hat so you guys can get a nice sense of how this truck drives from a first-hand point of view. And I'll catch back with you in one second. But all right, guys, stepping back out here with the POV hat on, regular daily acceleration going to about like 2200 RPM. You can see this thing picks up speed very well. We'll be at 40 miles an hour before we know it, but I want to get back onto that road that we came here on because there was a ton of serious, serious bumps. It should definitely give you guys as viewers a good first-hand look on how this vehicle really performs. That wasn't the road, so it should be this next one right over here. But okay, throwing it right over here. Massive bumps all over the place. We'll take a step out here with the air traffic control over there. But anyway, you can see there's gonna be some serious bumps coming up in three, two, one, bang. These are gonna be really, really rough. And this thing just rides over them like they are not even there. Boom, ooh, another set right over here. Wow, it just rides over them like it's nothing. Really, really rugged, capable truck. And it's not even gonna have the TRD off-road package. I could only imagine how capable that truck is. But stepping back out here, we'll go about to that light over there. Whew, that was only about half throttle, so the transmission does downshift pretty sensitively, and we go to about 4,500, 5,000 RPM, but it's a very, very strong pulling, accelerating truck. We'll make a U-turn right over here. Check out the turning radius, I guess, one last time. Uh, we'll do it a little bit quicker than we should. Maybe we could check out the body roll from the first hand point of view, but really impressive uh, turning radius. We'll come back out here, just normal accelerating, go to about 3000 RPM. You can see that speedometer climb, really, really impressive accelerating truck. But out here, once we calm down, just cruising around um, speed limit, miles per hour, um, very quiet. We're not gonna have basically any wind noise. The road noise is essentially non-existent and the way this truck rides over bumps uh, makes you forget that there's a live rear axle in the back. Really impressive sound deadening, really impressive composure and the ride quality over bumps is fantastic. But throwing it over here, just normal turns, normal speed. You don't really have any body roll. The body roll really comes when you start pushing the truck past its normal capabilities. Uh, but you shouldn't expect this to be a sport truck. It is kind of a sport truck given the fact that it's in the mid-size segment and it's a pretty capable vehicle overall, but it's still a truck. It's not gonna remind you of a sports car, of course, but for a truck, it's still a nimble and for on-road use right here. See, we're throwing it through the turn much faster than we should and it's still super, super composed. But that's about it, guys. We're gonna take this thing back to Stadium Toyota and again, huge thanks to them for making this review possible. Super kind group of guys. I would definitely recommend anybody looking for a new car or truck in the Tampa area to come check these guys out. All in all, guys, I'm definitely impressed with this 2022 Tacoma SR5. Uh, with the base price sitting around 33,000 bucks, even with this tech package bumping it up another 570, I think this is a great value for a mid-sized truck. No, we're not gonna have four by four. Maybe with a four by four, uh, the value will definitely be a little bit better. Um, maybe if we had disc brakes in the rear, it'd definitely be a little bit better of value too. But the way this truck drives, um, I would definitely recommend anybody in the market for a mid-sized truck or anybody that's looking to buy a Frontier, looking to buy a Ranger, looking to buy a Colorado, whatnot, um, I would definitely suggest also checking this one out too because uh, the power, if you're just looking at specs and numbers, you're, you're gonna see 278 horsepower, uh, 265 torque. Uh, the other trucks have more than that. 
drive this truck. I'm telling you, this is, it feels underrated. Uh, the six speed auto transmission, I know it's dated, but um, it still ships very well. The ratios are really sharp. I will be interested in seeing how this truck performs in the highway at around 70 plus miles an hour with the six speed overdrive. That's probably where the Frontier is definitely gonna take the edge with its nine speeds. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it half as much as I enjoyed making it. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Join the WTF family. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know I have a huge appreciation for each and every one of you guys. You know, the channel is just not possible without you. But if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know if there's any cars or trucks you'd like to see reviewed in this channel too. And I'll definitely try to get those videos for you guys as soon as possible. But other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.